perk up. Perk up. Time for back. And, damn. I always forget that on the weekend, a couple of the gyms I like going to close at 6 p.m. What is the deal with that? I, uh... I mean, I guess it makes sense. You know, gyms would have to stay open during the week because people are working or doing normal shit during the daytime. But come on. You know, frankly, I wish all gyms were 24-hour anyway. So six... That's crazy talk. That's absolute tomfoolery. And honestly, really just push it blasphemy. But... I'll just go to a different one. Another perk of if you end up getting multiple gym memberships. So plan for back. As I alluded to yesterday, I'm just gonna try to thrash it. I had a really I only had one big meal today. The it's the weekend and I don't really have so much to do school wise. So cardio in the morning. I'm always tempted. Because uh, every time I do cardio, or at least sometimes I'll remember to post it on the Instagram story. Like just a picture of the cardio bike, you know, with the 30 minutes done, 300 calories burned. I'm always tempted to, you know, just uh, say the craziest stuff, making fun of you for not doing your cardio. But you know, you already know you're in the wrong for not doing it. So then came back. Had a microwavable burrito, which was about 14 grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. 14 egg whites mixed with uh, some salsa. <laughs> Two yolks, just for some healthy fatty acid, omega-3 type shit. And then some treats. I had like four Samoas out of the freezer. The, uh, the coconutty Girl Scout cookies. All tracked, of course. So that put me at about 1,200 calories or so. Then I took a big nap. Did a little bit of computer stuff. And now, time for back. I'm not too concerned with my meal timing as much. Because I know I'm going to be in a deficit. So I'm never going to be crazy full of carbs. Or, you know, super full of everything anyway. So... That's one thing I like when I diet down, is I'm not so picky about when I go to the gym. Even if I had to do a morning workout and like flip it around and do cardio at night, I still probably wouldn't love it. I definitely like getting a few meals in before the first workout, but it wouldn't upset me too bad. So yeah, back, I mean, same shit as usual, you know? Like what's, name a few back movements, do a few sets of each of them, once your back is fully pumped and you actually push yourself hard, you're done. So I'm sure I'll end up doing a, there's kind of a hammer strength, high to low row. And what I mean by that is like when you do a cable, a seated cable row, you're pretty much pulling straight towards your body from in front of you. But this machine row, you kind of pull a little bit upwards. It's kind of like an arc path like this. So, I mean, I think that's, favorite back machine I've ever used or at least it's up there with one of my favorites so I'm sure there will be some of that some pull down action some pullovers for sure and then maybe a little bit of something something in between but as long as at the end of it my lats are going off mid traps are nice and you know, thick I'm fatigued and pumped then that's it you know and one thing which I think is nice to understand and kind of internalize is the fact that you can do a lot of different stuff and it'll still probably fucking work. Not even probably, like it will still be conducive to gains. If, um, if for whatever reason I thought to myself, okay, you know what? Let's make today a lat focus day. I'm just gonna do straight bar lat pull downs for, I'll do eight sets of them and I'll just go as heavy as I can for 10 and then repeat seven more times. I'm sure by the end of that, your lats are gonna be fucking wrecked. And probably, as long as you're squeezing hard, pretty pumped, you know? So don't get too 
attached with any one specific workout or whatever else, just make sure to go hard. So let's uh, let's get started. This is the machine I was talking about. I was trying to, so with this first set, I'm really trying to, let's just say, burn out my lats and my kind of mid back because of how hard and like just physically difficult the set is. Like I'm not trying to squeeze it super intentionally like I would if I was doing really lightweight and like holding it for a second. Like I want to, I mean, really just in a sense, throw the weight around and get fatigued like that. But I worked up to five plates for a rep, but that was too much. There is a limit, you know, like if I were to sit here and curl, whatever your max curl is, you know, for like 10 reps with a little bit of swinging, I think it's a good set. But if you try to push it too much further beyond that, to the point where you can't even get five good reps first in the set, I do think you may be pushing it a little bit over the edge, you know, ego lifter-ish. Because, I mean, it's cool throwing heavy weight around, of course, but I do want them to be sets which are going to be conducive to gains. And in the short term, it means, you know, sets which are going to let me do at least eight or so reps, and most of them being decent, and then finish the lift with a pump. But, you know, that, that's just fucking mumbo jumbo. Really, all I'm trying to do is go nuts. Few more like that. One more. bit of rest pause with that one just a few seconds well, let's move on to something not sure what exactly I think some basic pull downs that'll be perfect next not the whole stack pretty much a weight which I'll be able to move pretty well like I'm not gonna have a problem doing the first 10 reps weight wise but what I'm going to try to focus on is actually really kind of squeezing and holding. Like those rows were good, but they were kind of brutish. Just fucking, you know, burning out until I was barely doing partials. But with this set, while I'm strong, especially a one second squeeze, really just try to fire as many fibers or however, when you, however you want to think about it. Oh, my lats, my lower traps, everything. And then I think I might hit failure kind of suddenly. 
Because it'll the, the way that it'll look just predicting will be full rep, full rep, full rep for as many as I can get, and then it'll really quickly degrade to just little fucking partials. But let's see if I'm right. Let's do John said. Overestimated my strength a little bit. new movement I felt pretty good though all right plan now is some seated single arm cable rows set up as such now there is a um, a normal seated cable row right right over there but it wasn't it's not very smooth and like it's fine whatever it's not like you need perfectly smooth cables to have a good workout but I guess this is just me being a little picky so I'm not going to do a full set on each side, like finish the whole right side and then do the whole left. I think I want to go back and forth. So five reps on one arm, five on the left, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I feel like my, you know, mid traps, Terry's major fancy shit up by rear delt is all totally wrecked. And then probably do a few more or maybe just move on to something else. I mean, I'll have to see how it really feels. You never know until you actually do the set. <clears throat> eh. It's not that much weight. Straps take a little too long to throw on. <clears throat> One more. Yeah. <sighs> 
no more. We're close to done. I'm not sure what's next, though. So, of course, I've actually got to see how the set feels. I may finish this one and decide I want to do another. But I think this is going to be it. This will be Ender. Kind of the same style as those rows, but with single and pullovers. Then we can call it a day and go check the pump. I feel pretty fucking wide, even though I'm you know, not so full of carbs and food. Which is a very good sign. Or, at least, sign of a good lift. Okay. All right, let's find some good lighting. All right, so lift complete. Now all we gotta do is examine the back pump, which resulted. Which you tell me. It's, uh, there we go. You fucking tell me. Let's get a little through the shirt action. Actually, wait, I can, uh... I can almost use this door as like a secondary reflection so I can actually make sure I'm posing right. So yeah, here we go. This, yeah, this is good lighting. Oh boy. Well, I feel pretty fucking wide. Let's, uh, let's actually get a real good glimpse. Why? Today ended up being a little bit more lat focused than typical. Um, eh, maybe not exactly. Those first few sets of rows were pretty much in my back in its entirety, except for my really like, you know, upper traps. It's not like I was gonna shrug, but I say the whole thing's fucking pumped to hell. Let's run through some classics. I mean, you tell me. You fucking tell me. Is that wide or what? Boy. Oh. Oh my goodness. Alright, one quick little... Let's get out of here. I'm fucking hungry. I'm feeling... <clears throat> I'm feeling a little bit tired after that one. Back is definitely a little bit more... Well, tiring than maybe something like arms or any other smaller lift. That's partially... Not even partially. That is definitely why I don't do chest and back on the same day anymore i used to you know it is cool to have a full-on fucking torso pump you know going back and forth between back and chest or finishing back and then moving out of chest or vice versa but it's just a little much man you know 
by the time I, when I used to do it, I would do chest first. And by the time I would finish chest and start doing back, I mean, fuck, dude. I was kind of already winded to the point where, I mean, my back day wasn't super fucking awesome. Like, I'd still get a pump. I would still do heavy sets, of course. But <clears throat> the back portion was, I could tell I was a little bit out of it. So that's, that's no more. No more chest and back on the same day. Unless special circumstances arose. Like, let's, uh, no, I don't even know what those would be, you know? So that's kind of my stance there. But if you are in a pinch, hmm, not going to hurt you. Especially if you kind of do a little bit of a back and forth style. Like, if you do have to do chest and back on the same day, like maybe you're traveling or something or you're not going to be able to make it to the gym tomorrow, or maybe for a few days, so you kind of want to hit yourself a little bit extra hard in the meantime. I don't mind a superset style. Like, do a set of bench, and then immediately do a set of pull-downs or something. Not because I think there's like a antagonistic effect of doing a pushing movement straight into a pulling movement, but I do think you'll be able to do at least two or three hard sets in the beginning, where you're really pushing it weight-wise as well for your back and your chest. And then by the time you're already kind of tired out, you've already moved on to the portion of the lift which is a little bit more fluff-ish. Not that you should do fluff work, of course, but like that set of pullovers I did to end back today, I mean, that was not a fucking lat obliterating set. Really, all I was trying to do was get some more blood into, into my lats to kind of put the finishing touches on the pump. So, you know, sets like that, not so difficult. You know, I'm nowhere close to as winded after one of those as I was after, um, like, those heavy rows in the beginning. So, something to think about, you know. Because you've only got so much energy. I'm not trying to say, like, oh, you're going to overtrain. That's not exactly my point. But you know, in a lift, you can only really lift for so long and do you know, effective work. So if you really push your sets, I really don't think you should be doing two more than, and not, not two, I mean like, you shouldn't be doing two more than like, maybe 10 a muscle group. And that's, I mean, that's just kind of my opinion as well. Like you're not really gonna catch me doing super high volume workouts, but also I haven't done it for a while. You know, maybe tomorrow for arms, instead of my typical crazy heavy sets, I could do, you know, more lighter squeezing sets, L you know, lower intensity or damage per se from each one and do a little bit more. I'm not saying it wouldn't work. But for the most part, I think if you're really pushing your sets, by the time you're at eight, you should have kind of hit the fucking, you know, milestones, which are your cue to end the lift. You should be fucking fatigued, you know? If I do eight or so sets of chest, at the end of it, dude, my strength, like if I were to try to, not that I would ever do it, but if you were to put me under a one rep max and I didn't hurt myself in the process, I could get X amount of pounds in the beginning of the lift when I'm fresh. At the end of a chest day of like eight good sets-ish, maybe seven, maybe six, maybe nine, just around there, that number has got to be I couldn't even tell you how much lower, but considerably, you know. So the muscle I targeted is decently fucking fatigued and worked. It should be fully pumped. I'm not saying getting a pump means the workout was effective. You know, I could get a pump doing really lightweight, and I don't think it would give me too much stimulus. But if you go hard, usually a good workout and a good pump go hand in hand. So... The muscle you targeted is really fatigued and worked. You're fully pumped. That's really it, man. As long as those two factors are met, then you're good. At least for the, the training side. You know, there's still uh, everything outside of the gym which you've got to match to make use of that fucking stimulus. Right? you got to get a reasonable amount of sleep, be nice and well hydrated, get your protein in, a decent amount of 
fats and carbs and whatever else. I mean, we, we all know the deal. I'm going to be talking about macros so much on this diet. I think I'll, uh, I'll give you a little break from the dieting talk for this car, uh, for this car chat. But yeah, plan for tomorrow. Arms. Just a happy day. Just a nice little freaking day. Maybe I'll throw forearms in as well. I'm not totally certain. But buys, tries. Very nice. Oh, so what's up with you? Are you, uh, I guess if you're in my postgraduate demographic, then you're just working like normal. I'm, uh, I'm almost done with my school schedule. You know, I kind of forget that anybody who's actually living out in the real world, your routine is kind of set for fucking all year straight. I'm, uh, I still get a little spoiled. I get a summer break and, you know, you know the deal. So if that's you, high school, college, whatever, you're going to need to maybe lock in a little bit. For one thing, just because fucking... I'm sure you have a million projects and assignments and shit due in a few weeks. But just, I mean, it's kind of stupid, the nature of how you always have to cram shit in at the end of the year, uh, but whatever. So, like I was saying, you've only got so much energy for a workout. You've only got, much, you've only got so much time in a day. So if you're going to start getting, you know, a little bit more... A little bit more constrained in that you have to do some fucking actual class or studying or projects or whatever you got to do. You've also got your workout. You've also got your workout scheduled in your day. So, if I mean, I'm sure you've also got time to hang out with your buddies or whatever and go to the bars if you're, if you're old enough. Something's got to get cut out of the equation, especially when you get extra busy. And I think, unfortunately, a pretty large percentage of lifters, even though they want gains, they want to grow, sometimes they put the lift on the back burner instead of, you know, like having fun with so-and-so. Not that I'm saying you shouldn't you know, go out and have fun with anybody, of course. But you, know, you kind of got to make a little bit of a deal with yourself in that if you want fucking gains... You're going to have to do the work to get them. And the more you put it off by fucking, you know, skipping out or whatever else, you're just setting yourself behind. So, I'm not saying that's the only way to do it. It's not like you should uh, become a recluse. But, you know, that's kind of up to you. That's not a rhetorical statement either. You know, so, if you do actually want some gains... They're not just going to happen. And if you know in a few years you're going to kind of regret the amount of time that you spent really just goofing off doing nothing, when you could be maybe a little bit ahead of the game compared to where you are now, then that's just, uh, that's just up to you, man. That's your own fucking responsibility. You know, because pretty much no matter what, except for people who are kind of killing it, when they look back in, on their life, they probably wanted to change a little something. They probably wanted to do a little something differently. And the unfortunate thing is you, you really can't. You know, there's no do-over. So keep that in mind. Because before you know it, you're going to blink and fucking years have passed. You know, I still remember when I was a little chitlin running around yelling at my mom to watch me how high I'm swinging on the swing. And I mean, it's just kind of like a blink. So, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, you gotta... What am I even saying here? You gotta get big. If you want to get big, you will. What's the point of even trying to, trying to hype you up for it? The people who actually want to get big will. And the people who don't won't. Simple enough. Diet-wise, I'm probably going to have a lean cut of steak, maybe a little bit of uh, rice or something, 
and then a bunch of fucking water. I, uh, I am thirsty. <sighs> I feel pretty hydrated from the lip, from, uh, from everything I drank today, but I didn't bring a jug for the lift. And I mean, the water fountain's fine, but you know, I end up, I definitely don't drink as much water from drinking it straight out of the fountain instead of you know, having a full ass jug right next to me. So that's on me. That one is freaking on me. But concluding statements, stay hydrated, stay well rested, stay well fed, and stay well motivated from any source you can get your hands on and really fire up your insides to go hard. But I don't need to tell you that. You already know. So I'll see you tomorrow for ARMS.